And a lot of you guys seem to like it a lot. This is probably hands down the best looking lock screen you can get right now. It's very simplistic and modern. The animations are very cool and fluid and the way it displays your notification is pretty unique, just like Motorola's active display. If you tap and hold on a certain notification like this, it'll display a lot of the content on your screen already. And if you want to dismiss that notification, just simply swipe down and it's gone. If you want to jump straight to the app, just swipe up on a notification and it'll unlock your phone right away. Unfortunately, you can enable a password, so it's not the most secure tweak out there. If having a passcode on your lock screen is important, then this might not be the right one for you. The second one is Cover. The best thing about this lock screen is that it learns which apps you use more frequently and puts them right on your lock screen for easy access. You have the option to hide certain apps, and it also shows you different apps depending on your location too. If for example you're at home, then the apps that you use most when you're at home will be displayed first. At work, the productivity apps like email, calendar, phone will be shown first. There are other cool features as well, like the ability to peek into apps right from the lock screen and quickly jump from app to app by just swiping down on a hot corner. Just like AC Display, you won't be able to set a passcode, so just be aware of that. Now the third one is Go Locker. I know that John used this on his Nexus 5 and he was telling me how much he enjoyed it. If you're familiar with iOS devices then this shouldn't feel all that different nor look all that different either. Basically Go Locker is a lock screen developed by the same company that developed all the Go apps on the Google Play Store. Go Locker has a really clean look that simplifies your lock screen. It'll show your notification on this page. You'll see some of your most used apps, various settings and controls. You even have the option to switch themes so you can really tinker with this lock screen as much as you want. Make it unique and make it your own. Every theme is different and the way they perform are different too so you'll have tons of options if you use GoLocker. So let's take a quick break from this video and thank our friends over at GoDaddy. It's go time and GoDaddy's here to help you kick butt online. Start your website today with a $1.99.com and visit GoDaddy.com and enter the promo code 199TECHNO to get your .com for just $1.99. Some limitations apply. See website for details. The fourth one I wanted to share with you guys is Echo. Echo is more of a productivity or notification friendly lock screen. It's not as customizable as other lock screens that I mentioned, but the way it handles notifications is definitely unique. From the get-go, it looks simplistic and modern, just like AC Display, but where the two differ is how Echo handles its notifications. Notifications like missed calls, texts, and email are under priority. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media apps go into social and so on. With Echo, you have the ability to create reminders and bounce back to notifications at a later time or place, which is pretty useful in some cases if you're one to forget to reply back to someone or just want to be reminded at a later time. The other cool thing about this lock screen is that it only wakes your screen when you receive a priority notification. Echo also allows you to set up a security pattern for your phone so you don't have to worry about people getting into your phone without your knowledge. Last but not least is Start. Start is a great lock screen app that's just the right mixture of functionality and look. With the Start lock screen, you probably won't need to access your home screen all that often anymore. Since all your apps and all your content is right on your lock screen, you can make calls, send emails, send messages, all without even having to unlock your device. You can even check out your Facebook and Twitter timeline with just a single swipe if you want. Now the lock screen app gives you access to any app either via a ring menu to unlock or the small tab spread out on the left side of the screen. There are tons of options and tweaks you can mess with and there are also hundreds of free themes to choose from. It's not as crazy as the other lock screens I mentioned here, but the right amount of customization to where you know you'll be satisfied. All five of these lock screens are available via the Google Play Store for free. It's just a matter of finding which one works best for you. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys have any suggestions on which lock screens we should try out next, just leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, I'm Mark Linsenga from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching this video, and if you guys would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.